Get Ready to Thrive Loud with Lou Diamond. Hello, Thrive Loud listeners. My name is Sophie Grippo, and I'm currently a Thrive Loud intern, which I'm loving. This mini-sode features an outtake from episode 360, Upcycle, with Hannah Patton, co-founder of eco-friendly swimmer aligned Hulia Swim. This portion of the episode features Hannah discussing life as a cause-based entrepreneur, the idea of creating a product that is not just eco-friendly but appealing, and the importance of upcycling and giving plastic a new purpose. It's a really great discussion about her brand's mission, current success, and the future of environmentally friendly apparel and is definitely worth a listen. Enjoy and be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. This is a great brand and this is, while a new venture, you are a new entrepreneur on this. So talk about being this new entrepreneur with a really valuable cause because that's a really strong foundation to start a business. It's a great superpower and a super why, but it's also a really strong super community. You want to talk about the world that you've entered in as this cause-based entrepreneur. Yeah, um, definitely not what I was expecting it to be at all. Um, It's very warming. I think I can speak for Christina as well on this topic, but we both didn't expect so many people to understand what we are doing and why we wanted to do it and most importantly like the big picture of what we're trying to do like we're not trying to just sell a product but we're actually trying to change the world and we don't want to be like we're really trying not to just be another company on the market we don't want to just be another swimwear product that goes viral we want to be a movement we want to be a brand and we have all these ideas that we're we're getting ready to start putting into place and we really think that it's going to take it from being just a brand to a movement and that's what we really believe in and it's been really exciting and interesting to watch all the people who are just showing their support and their love and um, their admiration for what we're doing it's really awesome I wanted to share with the listeners here um, on this site they have many of their their Julia babes are your, your swimsuit models and those that are on the site have some unbelievable quotes and said, why do you love Julia Swim? I love Julia Swim because the suits are not only cute and flattering, but Julia Swim are environmental warriors. Their bikinis are made from da 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 da. Their mission is to clean up the ocean one bikini at a time. Who wouldn't want to be part of that Julia movement? That's pretty powerful. You've been finding this community of folks like this that continue to grow? Yes, it's... It's a lot bigger than we expected it to be. Um, And it seems like because we're trying to integrate not only that we're making an eco-friendly product, but we're making a very sleek, chic, a really cute eco-friendly product, I think it is starting to open up people's eyes that, oh, just because it's eco-friendly doesn't mean it's not comfortable or it's ugly or not flattering. And I think that's something really, really important that companies need to do is to emphasize that just because it's an eco-friendly product doesn't mean it isn't better than a brand name product. Do you see the movement that Julia Swim is doing getting carried over to the major swimwear um, production lines that are out there? Because obviously, look, it's, it's probably easier to make it with the materials that they've been doing in the past. Uh, however, This is such an important message. Uh, Do you see this movement carrying over? I definitely think I see this moving movement carrying over. Um, I think it's going to take a a few years before it becomes uh, a bigger thing where all companies start to transition. I think people are more focused right now on the war on plastic and just removing the plastic from the ocean. But it's important to remember that we are removing these products, but when we remove the products, there's nowhere for them to go. So we have to create a new life, a new purpose for them. So by creating this new life, this new purpose of a bathing suit, we're giving the plastic a place to go. It's not going into our landfills. It's not going into our dirt, our soil, our environment, our fish, our food, anything. Like we're completely just eliminating that element. And there's no really point for recycling anymore we have to figure out a way to upcycle mm. and that's be the new trend is upcycling it's no longer recycling because we're running out of places for things to go 
So we have to figure out how to repurpose materials and um, we really have to rely on science for that. You've been listening to Thrive Loud with your host, Lou Diamond. Head on over to Spotify, Good Pods, or wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe and listen to all of our incredible episodes. Follow Lou at Thrive Loud everywhere on social media and head on over to thriveloud.com to connect directly to Lou and learn how you and your business can thrive loud too. Thanks for listening.